In this video, I'll be showing you how to stream any game from your PC to your Quest 3 in high quality with low latency and Bluetooth controller support right at the Quest dashboard with multitasking and pass-through enabled. This method is 100% free and works incredibly well. You can stream games up to 4K resolution and 120 FPS, even with ray tracing, depending on the power of the computer you're streaming from. The connection is incredibly fast and stable, allowing you to easily play fast-paced games or competitive shooters wherever you're most comfortable without being tethered to a cable or unable to see your surroundings. Being able to play games like this is a game changer in terms of comfort and convenience. Right now, I've got my gaming PC in my bedroom where my wife and I sleep. The other day, she was off work and I woke up way before her. I really wanted to try out the new Throne and Liberty MMO, so instead of waiting or just booting up the game and waking her up, I grabbed my Quest 3 and my Bluetooth controller, sat back on my couch in the living room and booted up the game on a 120fps virtual big screen while I relaxed on a virtual mountainside with my favorite Twitch stream pulled up right next to the game. You can even have your cell phone pulled up in VR next to the game too, but we'll save that for another video. So if you want to play games on Quest 3 just like I am, the first thing you'll need to make sure you do, if you haven't already, is to enable developer mode on your headset. Developer mode will allow you to sideload Android apps or APKs onto the Quest 3 headset. It will also allow you to adjust the resolution, frame rate, and other settings of the Quest 3 that would otherwise be unavailable. Just note that if you plan to crank up the graphics settings, your device will use up its battery pretty quickly, probably about one and a half to two hours, so I'd suggest to either be connected to a charging cable or to buy a head strap with an extra battery like mine, which you can find in the video description, to extend the battery life by about five to 10 hours. To enable developer mode, first you'll wanna open a web browser on your PC and head on over to dashboard.oculus.com and sign up with the same meta account you use to set up your Quest device. Then you'll be asked to put in the name of your organization for which you can type anything you like. I just put my gamer tag for mine. Once you've got a name typed in, just check I understand and click submit. Then click I agree one more time. At this point, it may ask you to verify your account if you haven't already. If it does, just choose whichever method you prefer. I'd suggest picking the two-factor authentication with your phone. Once you've finished with that, you'll want to open up the MetaQuest app on your phone. From here, you'll want to click on Menu, then Devices, and then select your Quest device. Then head over to Headset Settings, and from there you'll finally be able to turn on Developer Mode. Once this is done, turn off your headset and turn it back on, and you'll have successfully enabled Developer Mode, and will stay in developer mode from now on unless you go back into the phone app and toggle it off later. Now that we have developer mode enabled, we can install and run the Moonlight app on our Quest 3 device. Moonlight is a completely free, high quality Android app used to stream games directly from your PC to your phone or other device via Wi-Fi. I first learned about the Moonlight app when I was getting into remote gaming on my Android. This app works so shockingly well that it motivated me to sell my previous phone and upgrade to a Galaxy S21 Ultra for its extra large 1440p 120Hz screen along with a GameSir G8 Android gamepad so I can enjoy the Moonlight app to the fullest and it literally works flawlessly, giving me access to full 1440p 120Hz handheld gaming for less than $500. After having such success with Moonlight on my phone, it was only natural for me to think to install it onto my Quest 3 when I found out it could run Android apps. As it turns out, Moonlight runs flawlessly on the Quest 3, and you can fully control your computer for free through the app with a Bluetooth controller or even a Bluetooth keyboard connected to your headset. To get the Moonlight app on your Quest 3, first you'll need to download and install the SideQuest app on your PC. This app is the key to installing Android apps or APKs onto your Quest, and is also what we'll be using to adjust the graphics and other extra settings of the Quest device itself now that it's in developer mode. To get SideQuest on your PC, head over to sidequestvr.com download and download the advanced installer on the right side. It's important to use the advanced installer because this is how we'll access and adjust the secret graphic settings and other additional headset settings that are normally unavailable. 
Once you've downloaded the installer, just run it and follow the prompts to install the SideQuest app onto your PC. Once you have the SideQuest app up and running, you'll want to make sure your Quest headset is turned on and then plug it into the computer with a link cable. If you don't have one already, I highly recommend picking up an extra long link cable like this one that plugs straight into a USB 3.0 slot, especially if you plan to play any VR games through Quest Link with the full power of your PC. Once it's plugged into your computer, you'll need to put on the headset and accept the prompt requesting USB access. If you don't see the prompt when you put on the headset, just go to your notifications and click the USB detected notification. Now your headset will be fully connected to your PC. With your headset fully connected, you can take it off and you should see it appear in the upper left corner of the SideQuest app on your PC. If it's not showing up, check your connection and make sure you accepted the USB connection notification on your Quest device. You also need to make sure your device is turned on because it won't show up if it's turned off. Now that we've successfully connected our headset, it's time to download and install Moonlight onto the Quest 3. A quick Google search for Moonlight APK download will provide multiple sources to download the Moonlight APK. I suggest going with APK Pure, which is a widely used and well-known source. I'll provide the link to this download page in the description of the video as well. Once you're on this page, click Download APK, then scroll down and click on the green Download APK button one more time. Then just select or create a folder and save the APK file in it. Once you've saved the APK file, Go back to the SideQuest PC app and click Install APK File from Folder right here at the top. Now go to where you downloaded the Moonlight APK, click on the file and then click Open and SideQuest will immediately begin to install the APK onto your Quest 3. I'm using a different APK here just as an example since I already have Moonlight on my device. Once this process is done, you'll have successfully installed Moonlight onto your Quest headset but we're still not quite ready to start gaming just yet. In order for the Moonlight app to connect to your PC, your computer will also need to be running Moonlight's partner app, Sunshine. Sunshine runs on the host PC while Moonlight runs on the device we're streaming to. Installing Sunshine is simple and easy, and it's the last thing we'll need in order to stream games for free to our Quest headset right from the dashboard with multitasking and pass-through, so don't give up yet because we're almost there. To get the Sunshine app, Head on over to github.com slash lizardbyte slash sunshine and click on the latest release where it says releases to the right. Then scroll down and select the installer for your operating system. I'm using the standard Windows installer for a 64-bit Windows system. Save the installer to your PC and then run it. Follow the prompts and then click finish when it's done. Then run the app on your PC. You can just type sunshine into the Windows search bar if you don't want to go find the folder. Run the program and it should open up a browser window with a network warning about your connection not being private. Don't click go back, just click on advance and then click continue to localhost. Don't stress about the warning, it's totally normal. Once you get past the warning, you'll be brought to the sunshine app homepage which runs in your web browser. The first time you run it, you'll be prompted to create a username and password. You'll use this login whenever you turn on your PC and run Sunshine, so make sure you use something you can remember. Once you create your login, Sunshine will refresh and bring you to the login screen where you'll sign in with the username and password you just created. You'll have to log in here whenever you first boot up or restart the Sunshine app in order for it to work with Moonlight. Once you're logged in, you'll be met with the Sunshine home screen. Congratulations! You've now completed everything necessary to stream games directly from your PC to your Quest 3 100% free. There's a lot of settings and configuration options for Sunshine that can be accessed from this screen, but if you just want to stream to your Quest 3 or another device on the same network as your computer, you shouldn't have to change any settings. You'd only really need to mess with the Sunshine settings if you have a special monitor or audio configuration, or if you wanted to stream to a device outside of your home Wi-Fi network, which is 100% possible, but in this video, I'll just be showing you how to use it within your own home network. Now that we have sunshine on our PC and moonlight on our headset, we've got everything we need to stream PC games straight to the Quest 3. The only other thing I'd like to show you before we go over how to connect is how to set the best graphic settings on your headset and on the moonlight app. This will make your experience way better 
so I highly suggest you do everything I'm about to show you. First, before we put on the headset and get into the Moonlight app, we'll want to use the SideQuest PC app to turn up the graphic settings on the headset like I mentioned before. To do this, make sure that your headset is plugged into the PC with your link cable and that you've accepted the USB access request on your device. Then, pull up the SideQuest app on your PC and you should see your Quest device in the upper left corner like before. Next, you'll want to click this icon in the top right corner that looks like a wrench. This will take you to the device settings where we can adjust the resolution, frame rate, and more. First, you'll want to set the CPU and GPU to level 4. This will allow your headset to use its full processing power, even at the Quest dashboard. This is perfectly safe within stable limits and is not an overclock. It basically just removes battery saving limitations. That being said, with these settings, your headset will drain through battery faster than usual. And considering these headsets don't have the greatest battery life to begin with, I'd highly recommend being plugged into a charging cable or to buy a head strap with a battery like I mentioned before. The one that I have here works very well. I can game untethered for hours on end at full settings and my headset stays at full battery the entire time. Plus, the added cushion on the top strap, the padding in the back, adjustable tension, and balanced weight distribution make this head strap far more comfortable than the one that comes with the Quest 3. Not only preventing battery loss, but also eliminating all of the discomfort and fatigue I would get after only an hour or so with the original strap, allowing me to be comfortably immersed for long periods of time. <laughs> for texture size, I suggest going with 2560. You could also go with 3072 for a bit of a sharper image, but the max refresh rate for that resolution is only 90 Hz, and I like to play at 120 Hz for a bit of a smoother experience, so I'd suggest going with these settings here. The FFR setting just beneath refers to the quality of the peripheral vision in the headset. Normally the headset focuses on putting the sharpest image in the middle while leaving it a bit blurry on the edges. I suggest setting this to high to increase the quality of those edges a bit. Once you've finished adjusting these settings, you can exit out of the SideQuest app and unplug your headset from your PC. Now you can finally put on the headset, and I'll show you how to run the Moonlight app, how to get the best settings in the app, and how to finally connect to and control your PC through the app. So, when you've got your headset on, the first thing you'll want to do is open up your app library and click on Unknown Sources over here to the left. Then, just click on Moonlight here to run the app. Once you have the app running, I highly suggest pinning it to the dashboard for easy access later on. Then, before you connect to your PC, you'll want to open up the settings. Here you'll find many settings regarding the graphics, sound, controls, and more. Right now, we'll only be adjusting the graphics settings, but feel free to take a look at and experiment with some of the other settings later on. Now, in order to maximize the graphics, First, you'll need to scroll down until you find Unlock All Possible Frame Rates and toggle it on. Then you'll want to scroll back up to the top where you can adjust the resolution and frame rate settings. I suggest matching these to the computer monitor you're streaming the game from. It's okay if your computer monitor is a higher resolution or FPS than you select on Moonlight. For example, if you have a 1440p 200Hz monitor but for some reason only wanted to run Moonlight at 1080p 60fps, that's perfectly fine, but Moonlight will not be able to stream games in a higher resolution or frame rate than your monitor. So, for example, if you're running the game from a 1080p 60fps monitor, then that's the best you'll be able to stream to Moonlight, unless you run the game on a virtual monitor with a custom resolution and your PC can support it, but we'll save that for another video as it's a bit of an in-depth process. So now that you've got your resolution and frame rate on point, you're finally ready to fully control your PC through the Moonlight app. Just close the settings, and if you've got sunshine running on your PC on the same Wi-Fi network as your headset, then your computer should show up right here on the Moonlight home screen. To connect to your PC, just click on it once, and then click Desktop. You can also click on Steam, but I find it works best when you connect straight to the desktop. After that, Moonlight will connect to your computer, and you should be able to see and control your monitor from inside the headset. You can click and drag on the app to move the mouse around, and a single press triggers the left mouse click. A long press triggers the right mouse click. You can also connect a Bluetooth controller directly to your headset 
and it should work seamlessly through the Moonlight app. I like to have Steam Big Picture open when I connect, so I can use my controller to select and launch games. You can even connect a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard to your headset and use them to control Moonlight too. If you're getting a video error, or if your PC isn't showing up, or appears locked on Moonlight, I've always been able to easily fix this by going over to the taskbar on my PC and restarting Sunshine, then opening it up and making sure I'm fully logged in. After that, I've never had any issues connecting whatsoever. So that's how you play PC games on your Quest headset, straight from the dashboard with multitasking and pass-through, 100% free. I hope you guys all have a great time gaming and multitasking just like I am. I worked hard to get this video out, and I've got a lot more coming, so please drop a like and consider subscribing if I was able to help you out today. Thanks for watching, and I wish you the best on your VR adventures.